everyone, this is Celine from Blue Cala Patterns. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install um, a screw-in grommet. Uh, this is the oblong grommet from Emmeline Bags, and I'm going to be using it in my next pattern. So I thought it would be helpful if I show everyone how to install these. Before you start, you'll need to gather your supplies. You'll need to have a very sharp pair of scissors. Now normally a smaller pair would be ideal, but this is my sharpest pair, so I will have these. Uh, a pen for marking, a hammer, something to punch out holes. Um, I'm going to use my rotary punch, but if you have uh, this type of punch, that will work just as well. Fray check if you're installing the grommet in fabric. Uh, I'm going to be using vinyl, so this doesn't fray. I will not be using the fray check, but if you're installing a grommet in fabric, make sure that you have fray check on hand. You're also going to need a very strong clear glue. Uh, you can use Loctite, or um, I'm going to be using this one because I'm out of Loctite. Um, and then you'll need a small block of wood or a small chopping board and also a screwdriver. Um, so before we get started, I will need to take off the back plate. Now, depending on your pattern, you're going to uh, need to install the grommet uh, in a, the whatever location uh, according to whatever measurements are in your pattern, um, I will show where I'm going to be installing the grommet in my pattern. Okay, I should have done this before. Now, the reason why I'm taking it apart is because I need the back plate to mark placement. So, you'll see on the uh, on the back plate, I have two little holes on either side for my screws and then this um, oblong circle or shape uh, which will be the hole in the middle of my grommet. So all I need to do is place this over my my fabric. Now one thing you should also do before you start is to make sure that your the thickness of your materials will fit inside the grommet so the, I've replicated um, the thicknesses uh, uh, of the, the area in the pattern that I'm going to be installing the grommet so I have a layer of Peltex two layers of interface cotton and two layers of vinyl this is the Emmeline bags vinyl so I just created a little sandwich um, to replicate the pattern so You place the grommet and then you just trace out um, the shape which will be your center hole and then I also mark the location of both of my screws on either side and then you can set that aside for now now if you do not have a set of punches to make these holes. So I have a set of punches that I purchased on eBay and they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes to make punch out holes for various pieces of hardware, locks, um, and similar. But um, if you do not have a set of hole punches, um, you can still do this. It will just, you'll just need to take your time and be more careful. Um, I would start by drawing an X in the center of that oblong shape and then you're going to take a very sharp seam ripper and start from the outer edges so I'm not sure if you can see this but you're going to start from the outer edges and work towards the center in the middle of your shape my seam ripper is not sharp enough. Okay, there we go. And then from then on, 
you can just use your scissors and carefully cut. Start by cutting that X in the center of your shape and go slowly, take your time. And then you have to carefully cut around following the shape. I find cutting um, just outside of the lines is better because when you're drawing the shape, you're not taking into consideration this, this edge. So you wanna just cut away the line itself. Now, because I have a punch, um, my punch is actually exactly the outer edge um, of the, the hole and on the front plate of my grommet. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you how I punch this out. Um, and I'm going to do it in a separate clip so I can turn off the sound and you don't have to hear me hammering. Okay, so I've used my punch and I've uh, cut out the opening for the grommet. And now I still have to punch out uh, a hole for my screws. So for this, I'm gonna use my, uh, my rotating hole punch. I'm just gonna It's gonna look something like that. I'm gonna do it on both sides. Okay, so then you end up with something that looks sort of like this. Hopefully you can see that. And then, now don't forget the front plate goes on the front of your bag. I just turn it around and I have a look. So I need to make a slight adjustment uh, with this hole and take in a bit more. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty good. Um, so now you'll want to uh, apply glue. So if you're using fabric, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to want to apply fray check around the entire opening that you just cut out. If I'm not using uh, fabric here, I'm using vinyl. Um, now you apply your glue, and I put a drop in each hole where I'm going to be applying my screws. And then you can also apply some on the front plate if you like, um, just so that it doesn't come out um, at all. So you can apply it right on this edge here all the way around. Um, I find this glue is quite strong, so I tend to just put it where I'm going to install my screws. Um, so now you just place your back plate and then, and my magnet is annoying. second screw it's 
I, it's, I think it's more ideal to use Loctite if you have that on hand. Unfortunately, I, I don't have any, as I said. I know it's a bit, um, bit nerve-wracking to install a grommet in a finished bag. So if you're nervous about it, you can go ahead and practice first on a scraps like I just, I've just done. Don't add the glue if you're practicing. 